As the second phase of Malabar exercise kicked off in the Bay of Bengal on Tuesday, the Indian Navy participated along with the U.S. Navy, Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, and the Royal Australian Navy. The focus was on free, open, and inclusive Indo-Pacific. We on correspondent Molly Gambir spoke with India's chief of the naval staff, Admiral Karambir Singh. Listen to their conversation. Thank you very much, sir, for speaking with us here on We On World is One. Um, if we can start about start with talking about the significance of the Malabar exercise and the larger message that it sends out. See, um, uh, Malabar exercise was uh, started as a bilateral in uh, 1992. Then we gradually built up uh, with the, uh, one navy joining, then the second navy joining, and now we have four navies together. But the larger message is that uh, we have a common goal or a common vision. Or, and that is of a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific region. And I think that to anything that supports that, and Malabar is one of the exercises that supports that kind of um, vision, and uh, that kind of vision to be actually brought to fruition, you require to have understanding, you require to have trust, you need to have interoperability, and that is what Malabar offers us. What about the scope of the expansion of the Malabar exercise? Uh, I think so far we are going to stick to this, as I understand. Uh, we will try and build much better. You know, we 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 are at the present talking at present talking about interoperability. We may look at interchangeability as the next step, and uh, try to increase the complexity even further. We've gone on to live firings. We've gone on to very uh, uh, you know high level of uh, uh, exercises. But now I think the time has come where we can fuse our picture and information together. I think that would be the next step uh, when we look at future Malabars.